ladies and gentlemen, what's going down with the Michael Cohen testimony is historic. I have never seen nothing like this before in my life when it comes down to a president. And Trump is not one that can walk and chew gum at the same time. I knew while he was in Vietnam and all of this thing with Michael Cohen and his testimony was just getting next to him because Trump cannot do anything but wear his emotions all over his sleeves. And one thing he can't stand is to be talked about badly or criticized. He has showed us this all throughout his presidency. And another thing that many of us have noticed about Trump, Trump has a serious credibility problem on his staff. If you notice, there's always constantly people leaking to the press. When he came in the doors of the White House, people were already drafting books against Donald Trump. His presidency has been like an endless evolving door of people getting fired and leaving at levels that did not exist during the Obama or the Bush administration. People left, of course they did, but not at the levels they leave when it comes down to Trump's White House. Oh, it's a difference. Oh, it's a difference. Trump couldn't wait to get the hell out of Vietnam and make it back here to Washington because of everything. Michael Cohen is dropping on him. Now, oh, we couldn't reach an agreement. No, Trump had to get out of there, y'all. Trust me on this one. He had to get out of there and come back here. You know, because Donald Trump is the type of person that think he needs to come and do damage control because, see, he has been stripped naked just over this past day of testimony from Michael Cohen, who is now about to go to jail for three years. Trump and Kim abruptly cut short summit after failing to reach nuclear agreement. No, Trump cut that meeting short. He could not handle sitting in Vietnam while all of this stuff is going down at home, y'all. Trust me on this one. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Trump cannot handle things like this. And he's already, from Vietnam, been on Twitter calling Michael Cohen all kinds of liars and everything else. And I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that man is backing up a lot of things that he is saying. And Trump is like a one-man show of what America truly is. Lying, cheating, racism, doing dirty business deals, lying about patriotism when he wouldn't sacrifice a fingernail for this country. Bone spurs. But always trying to sound all tough in front of the cameras. Even dragging his own wife through the Stormy Daniels uh, debacle that went on. This was getting next to him, y'all. He had to get out of those talks and come back here.
No Deal, Trump and Kim, Abandon Lunch, and Cancel, Signing Ceremony as White House concedes that no agreement has been reached in Vietnam nuclear summit talks. <laughs> and I, I like this. A planned White House press conference got moved up by two hours. This is during the time the Michael Cohen was testifying. As the president prepares to leave the country. <laughs> so he abruptly got the hell out of there, y'all. Make no mistake about it. This is no coincidence that Trump left at the very moment Michael Cohen is sitting there just dropping dime after dime after dime after Trump. See, Trump is the kind of person that wants loyalty, but he shows zero loyalty to anyone around him. That man couldn't focus y'all. But see, I've been around people like Donald Trump in my lifetime. I've been around people like him in corporate America just in general. So Trump's racism, I don't fear that racism. It's blatant. It's out there. It's expected. I, it, it, it's nothing to me to fear. We, we in the black community, we've been around Donald Trump types our whole life. This man couldn't show a shred of loyalty to anyone to save his life. I've been around people like him. And, and I've seen these type of men cheat on their wives and very open with it too. Don't care. I used to work for Bristol Myers Squibb back in the day. And the sales team, because they used to travel, those men had wives and children at home and girlfriends. And some of them had girlfriends with children in other parts of the country. And didn't care nothing about openly talking about that shit on the job like it was nothing. That's what Donald Trump is. That's America. That's what America really is. It's about getting what you want. Screw everybody else. That's how Donald Trump is. That's America. That's the real America. Trump talks with Kim Jong-un ended abruptly on Thursday with the president saying he was forced to walk away after Kim demanded that all sanctions were lifted in return for giving up only some of his nukes. Trump told reporters that he remains on good terms with Kim and continued to tout the enormous potential of North Korea but added, sometimes you have to walk away. No, you, you have to run because of what's going on. See, Trump don't fool me. Trump is one of those people you can see straight through him. Contrary to what he tries to tell you, this shit going down at home with Michael Cohen is rocking his world right now. See, this is him abruptly leaving, and this is the reason why, y'all. This is the reason why. Not only is the whole nation listening to Michael Cohen, the entire world over is watching what's happening in Washington. 
The whole world is watching your nation fall apart at the seams. The whole world watch you fail in your government shutdown. Watching people night after night crying on TV because they didn't get their paychecks. And the last time I look, everybody still didn't get paid. These people are still struggling to get paid and get caught up on things. It looks bad, y'all. America, it's a bad look. And this testimony, it is showing the world. You are not the leader they thought you were. All smoke screens and fakery. But when you get down to the real deal, you're not as together as you try to project. All smoke screens and mirrors. Everything this man dropped, you know, some of it was shocking, some of it wasn't. But Donald Trump driving through a, a neighborhood saying, well, this is how black people live. That's not shocking to me. That is something he would say. That's something many of you would say. Chump, uh, it, Trump, yeah, Trump, calling Africa a shithole when you know that you need your resources from Africa, not a wise thing to do. Just from that one statement, just from that one statement, Trump changed the relationship between the United States and Africa. He has yet to step foot over in Africa. See, what you got is a very reckless man. Not only with the American people, but with his own damn wife. How embarrassing for not only your husband cheating on you, but you got to see the face of the woman that cheated on you. You got to see him paying hush money <laughs> to someone that paid her off to keep her mouth shut. And you saw how that went over. Man, if you can't negotiate things with some some a porn star whore, <laughs> what makes you think you want to negotiate for the damn country? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not shocked that this nuclear deal fell apart. Admit Michael Cohen grabbing the world's attention to tell every rotten thing that he knows about Trump. See, Michael Cohen already know his fate. He's going to jail for three years. He already knows. So he, at this point, he doesn't care what he got to tell you. And he's going to say it. The only thing Trump can do is what we saw earlier. Go on Twitter screaming he's a liar, he's this, he that. Well, he wasn't any of those things for the last 10 years, Trump. The 10 years he was working for you, he was okay. But as soon as he stopped lying for your ass, now he ain't no damn good. And the thing is, no one knows Trump better than Cohen. Cohen's been around Trump all in New York. And he's been with him through the White House. So yes, this man is the one that really truly knows it all, ladies and gentlemen.
So yes, Trump had to get out of here and end that meeting. Okay, so they had he abruptly ended the meeting and then he had a quick dinner with Kim Jong-un and he got the hell out of there. Because in Trump's eyes, it is best to run out of there and try to save his corrupt ass integrity. Kim Jong-un did what I would expect him to do. He don't like all those sanctions on him. He wants those sanctions off of him. That's what he wants. While he was focusing on what he could do for his country, Trump was focusing on, I got to get the hell out of here and address this Michael Cohen situation. Now you wait and see. When Trump makes it back in this country, he going to dive all in on this Cohen situation. Because that's the real reason why that meeting end. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. So the articles are coming out, ladies and gentlemen, on the abrupt ending, quick ending to this meeting without a deal. And Trump running the hell out of there to come back to the U.S. And so you will see the articles today. Yes, you will. But I have to tell you, I've been hearing news about Trump for a very long time. And everything that Michael Cohen is saying about Trump fits him to a T. It really does. I saw his casino fold. I saw the protest that came out against him. I saw this man try not to rent to black people. I saw the article that he put out when the Central Park rape went down. I saw when he cheated on his first wife with Marla Maples. And I saw him be a bad businessman for many years. You know, it's amazing how when he was elected, everybody, well, he's a businessman. Yeah, but not a good one. If you would have looked closely at Donald Trump's background, you would have saw it as plain as day. All of these foundations and shell corporations and money pouring in there and Trump University and him scamming people and uh, his children joining in the festivities and scamming people, seen it all. Bankruptcies. Yeah, he's a businessman, not a good one. So if he's not a good businessman, what made you think he was going to make a good president? Trump is screaming what America truly is. There are so many people like him in America, it's not even funny. But this is really embarrassing, the way he is getting dragged by his former attorney for the past 10 years expecting him to always clean up his messes and go along with his con games in business and covering up his affair with some porn whore. And talking blatantly racist around him all the time, which we know Trump does. Come on. That, that, I heard things about Trump doing this years ago. 
His racism is not shocking to me. And I'm not shocked over what he said about Charlottesville. That statement wasn't shocking. It's shocking to the people that really don't know Donald Trump. But see, Donald Trump is a reckless man. And he's not going to be able to do damage control. Because whenever he gets up in his feelings, he starts calling everybody exactly what he is. A liar. Start calling them names. Because he loves name calling. This, this is the biggest name calling president. I have ever seen in my life. So no, I um you know how he feels about black people is how America feels about black people. How Trump cheats on his wife is how many of you cheat on your wives all the time. Trump is America. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on your uh, notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. But y'all wait until Trump gets back. He is going to be in emotional meltdown mode. Keep your Twitter accounts open y'all because it is going down. Peace family.